here with head softball coach Gary Bryce as we preview the 2019 softball season. Disappointing uh, season in 2018. If any, are there any positives that can be taken from that season as you move into this year? I think you can take, uh, we had some good young kids playing, freshmen playing that uh, I think down the road will be uh, very solid players for us, hopefully this year. This will be your 38th season, and you've won well over 1,200 games as you move up the top 10 list. What keeps you motivated? Is that something that you think about at all? Well, it's uh, like retirement. I've been in athletics my entire life, and I wouldn't know what to do if I was out of it. And I would miss the kids, and uh, hopefully, you know, you uh, give them an opportunity to uh, do some things that are right that will help them later on in life. Talk about some of the players. Brianna Kressler was GLIAC Freshman of the Year. She's one of those young positive players that you were talking about. Uh, talk about her moving into her second season as a Warrior. I think she is one of those uh, D1 ball players that slipped through the uh, cracks. She's Canadian, uh, has done really well academically, and uh, just has a cannon for an arm and uh, made some great plays last year that probably won her the GLIAC Freshman of the Year, and she's just solid could play anywhere. She pitched for us, so she's not a starting pitcher by any means. But she's a kid that uh, you ask her to play here, you ask her to play there. She was a shortstop coming in. I said, hey, we need a center fielder. With, didn't grumble, just moved out to center field. and Just a great kid to have around. Other GLIAC performers offensively, Hannah McClooney, Ashley Messina, and Rainey Seneca return after all GLIAC season. Talk about them and any other people that you look to uh, to be productive at the plate. Well, Hannah's a senior in four years, and great kid. Um, came in uh, probably not real solid academically and has turned it around. Great credit to her. Uh, she was our starting shortstop for three years, but she plays with a lot of zeal and sometimes overplays and is uh, prone to uh, throwing the ball away. So he moved her to third, and uh, she's going to be our leadoff hitter. And uh, Just a solid uh, kid. Uh, Messina, two years ago, won the NCAA award for not striking out basically all yeah. year. Uh, and she came in and kind of was a backup catcher and went home and really worked hard uh, training and so on and came back and worked herself into the lineup and has a good sense and, again, a business uh, senior that does very well academically. And, She'll play a lot for us, and uh, Rainey's one of those sophomores. Plays second base for us. He has great instincts. Another kid that can play short, can play anywhere in the infield. Uh, just a solid uh, ball player all around. She's our second hitter, and again, I'm hoping these kids all have great years. Inside the circle, Megan Guitar won 15 games last year. I'm assuming she'll be an important part of the 2019 season. Any anybody else to look for inside the circle? Well, we have uh, Paige, uh, Amy is a freshman coming in from Marysville, uh, has tremendous upside to her, uh, saying that she's got to go out and do it, but I think down the road, even maybe hopefully this year, uh, she'll be really good. Uh, Megan uh, comes back, I think if Megan will stay within herself pitching, that she, she could have an outstanding senior year. She's a great first baseman, but uh, we've had to have her on the mound, and uh, she'll play first when uh, she's not pitching. And, and uh, we have a Presley, Presley Buchanan last year, unfortunately, uh, in practice, got hit right between the eyes with a softball that gave her a concussion. And she was one of those five percenters that didn't recover within a short period of time and basically missed most of the year uh, physically. Uh, could be great upside. She's a great athlete uh, as a pitcher. Uh, play some outfield for us. She's one of those kids who could probably play anywhere. So, uh, you know, if those kids come through, you got to have some pitching on the mound, as you know, and if we can play some defense, uh, we, we got an opportunity to be decent.